In this experiment, we're going to be investigating rate of reaction by changing the concentration of an acid. The reaction is going to be between hydrochloric acid and magnesium metal. Now we're going to do the experiment in a conical flask. Um, we're going to add 20 centimetres cubed of acid and we're then going to add a 3 centimetre strip of magnesium metal. So we're going to put a bung on top and the bung has got a delivery tube attached to it. Now if we put the end of this tube into a trough of water, then when the gas is made in here it will travel down the tube and we will see bubbles coming out of the end of the tube as it passes through the water. Now we could measure the rate of reaction by counting the bubbles but that's quite difficult to do because not every bubble is going to be the same size and if you get a flurry of bubbles all at once it's going to be really difficult to count them. So counting bubbles is quite a poor technique for measuring rate of reaction. The experiment that we're going to do today is similar, only instead of counting the bubbles, we're going to collect the bubbles in an upside down measuring cylinder that's been filled with water. Now, this is called downwards displacement of water because the water gets forced downwards and out of the measuring cylinder. So I put the measuring cylinder in like this and it fills with water. You need to make sure it's completely filled so there's no air bubble up there at all. And then we're going to place that over the end of the delivery tube and I'm just going to clamp it in place as well. Now, Miss is going to help me with this investigation. It's a two-person job. Hi. Because we need someone with their eyes on the measurements and we need someone else writing down the results in the results table. And we are going to measure the volume of gas produced every 10 seconds. And we're going to keep doing this until there is no more gas produced. So if I get ready with the stop clock and the piece of magnesium metal, and if Miss, if you can keep an eye on the volume, yep. every 10 seconds I'll say now, and Miss will call out the volume and I'll write it in my results table. Okay, ready to go. And my magnesium metal is in, my stop clock is on, and I'm going to record the volume every 10 seconds. And now. Four. which means that in that 10 seconds, no more hydrogen gas was being produced. So that's the end of the experiment. So I can stop the stop clock now. Um, so that was, that was carrying out the experiment at the concentration of one molar. We now need to repeat the experiment at half that concentration, 0.5 molar. Now you can make 0.5 molar by measuring out 10 centimetres cubed of one molar and 10 centimetres cubed of water, mix them together and you've got half the concentration. Okay, so now that we've finished the, the, the dilute concentration, um, we're going to have a look at our results and plot a graph. get to a certain point in year 10 and 11, we start to talk to you about how you can improve the experiment. And there's a way you can do this um, with a gas syringe. So there's a way that's even more accurate. So we have these gas syringes, they look like giant cowpole syringes, but they're made of glass. And then they can collect the glass and they, the gas will displace and push out the syringe and read off there. Have a go at a few questions, pause the video, and then unpause to see the answers.